Uh, Biden, I, look, Biden got an unfortunate break there with the hair because he's got the comb over shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and he, he was very Ernie McCracken from uh, Kingpin yesterday. That started blowing during his whole speech, the pieces of that and everything. Media didn't say one word about it. Um, I remember when the fly got into Mike Pence's hair for that debate. Oh, yeah. Um, everybody used that. And I <laughs> like, here's the thing. I feel bad about shit like this where I was just like, God damn it. I said it on the air yesterday. I was like, can they not use hairspray? And then afterwards, they said it was Chris Wallace was on. It was just like, that was the greatest inauguration speech in my lifetime that I've ever seen. Probably in presidential history, n- no, it wasn't. I think he talked for about eight minutes. Uh, it was very cold. And I don't fault him for mispronouncing rural. Oh, yeah, uh, that's a hard times. one. That's a hard one for any of us, even sober, yeah. and young. Uh, so I don't, I don't fault him for any of that. Very, very uh, boring vanilla speech. They got him out of there. I I think that's, it's a nice precursor to what you're going to look forward to for the next four years where they're going to keep those speeches under eight, get them out of there as fast as they can, jack them up for Adderall and and keep it, keep the appearances at a minimum. To me, I I still go JFK, but I, you know, if we're calling Biden the new JFK, we're really starting to stretch some truths here, Jabes, and uh, didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. Didn't understand it, right? God grace Biden in that speech, and it was the greatest of all time, according to the media. Again, really want to go back to JFK. I'll even go back to Obama. Obama's speeches were fucking great. One of the best orators that we've ever had as, as a president, for real. Trump, I remember Trump's speech. Like It was defiant, angry, and, and very on brand for Trump, but like no means one of the greatest of all time. Call it like a Sam. Same with Biden. Like, very fucking boring. Vanilla. I felt like I had ordered, uh, like I'd gone into the grocery store, uh, remembered that Ben and Jerry were pieces of shit, uh, and then gone down to like the Kroger brand of vanilla ice cream where I was just like, eh, yeah, it's the cheapest and I just want something to go along with this pie. So mm-hmm. I'll take a couple scoops of that. And you know, like that's how off brand vanilla it was where you're just like, eh, don't give a shit. Not the greatest of all time. Nowhere near it. Not even fucking close. Uh, I'm still going to go JFK on that. I wasn't alive for Lincoln. I like to believe that I was, but I bet you that motherfucker killed it. Oh yeah. You know, Daniel Day Lewis did at least. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. And I'll, when Daniel Day Lewis plays you in a movie, he is you. So he was Abraham Lincoln. I'm fine. I feel like I know Lincoln's speeches. Yeah. Probably second best of all time behind JFK. Then Obama third, right? Sure. I don't see any of these other numb dicks over the past, whatever, given speeches like that. Reagan fifth, maybe in that, but, uh, Biden, way down that list, hombre. Right. Way down that list.